What's that? The evil brain monster's at it again? This looks like a job for El Superlector! Hello, boys and girls. My name is El Superlector, and I'm so happy to be with you today. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to do some really cool things today. We're going to read, we're going to sing, and we're going to have fun. So like always, we need to start out with some singing. You know what, boys and girls? Today is a great day. Do you know why today is a great day? Because you're here. Today is a great day. It is a great day. Today is a great day. It is a great day. Today is a great day. It is a great day for learning all we can. Today is a great day. It is a great day. Today is a great day. It is a great day. Today is a great day. It is a great day for reading all we can. Today is a great day. It is a great day. Today is a great day. It is a great day. Today is a great day. It is a great day for doing the best we can. And that is what we're going to do today, boys and girls, is we are going to do our best. Just like we've always talked about in the past, it is super important that we always do our best, boys and girls. Now, I know that you are learning a lot today because we learn things every new every day. And so that's what this next song is. And I think you know it. And, and so I want to make sure you sing along. OK. All right. It's called We're Learning a Lot Today. Today. We are learning a lot today. Oh, we are learning a lot today. We are learning a lot today. Oh, we are learning, we are reading, we are laughing, we are singing. We are learning a lot today. Oh, we are learning, we are reading, we are laughing, we are singing. We are learning a lot today. Oh, we are learning a lot today. We we are learning a lot today. Oh, we are learning a lot today. We are learning a lot today. Oh, we are learning, we are reading, we are laughing, we are singing. We are learning a lot today. Oh, we are learning, we are reading, we are laughing, we are singing. We are learning a lot today. Woo! And that's what we're going to do today, boys and girls. We're going to learn something new. All right, boys and girls. So today we're going to read another very special book. The title of this book is The Wonder of It All. And it is also written by Adrian Vega and illustrated by Complex Community Federal Credit Union. Hmm, The Wonder of It All. I wonder what this book is about. Well, let's see. On looking at the cover, if we look at the cover, I see a ladybug, I see a gardening glove, I see it looks like some plants or leaves. Hmm, I wonder if that's gonna be a clue, boys and girls. Well, let's find out. It was a beautiful spring day. El Superlector was walking through the park when he noticed a family carrying a set of gardening tools. Curious, El Superlector decided to see where they were headed. As he got closer, he realized that they were walking to the community garden located inside the park. The community garden was a place where people gathered together to grow various fruits and vegetables. It was a very special place. Wow, well, it sounds special to me, boys and girls. I don't know if you've ever done any gardening or, or, or grown some plants or vegetables, but let's find out. In the garden, there were different kinds of lettuce, squash, tomatoes, cucumbers, watermelons, strawberries, avocados, peppers, and more. Fascinated by the activity, El Superlector walked through the garden to see what was happening. What are you planting? asked El Superlector to a young boy who was carefully placing seeds in the soil. I'm planting cucumbers, said the boy, as he gently placed cucumber seeds in the ground, covering them up with soil. 
Did you know that cucumber plants can grow to be six to eight feet long and that some cucumbers can grow to be nine to 11 inches long, offered the boy. I did not know that, said El Superlector. Did you know that pickles are cucumbers that have been pickled in vinegar or brine, asked El Superlector. Everyone knows that, said the little boy, smiling. Wow, it sounds like you really know a lot about cucumbers. And by the look of things, it looks like you really know a lot about gardening also, complimented El Superlector. I know some, said the boy. I have been helping my parents for a while, and I like to read books about gardening. El Superlector smiled. Well, this little boy, he helps his mom and dad with gardening, but he also likes to read about gardening. Are there other things that you like to read about? Asked El Superlector, intrigued. Oh, yes, I am curious about lots of things. For instance, how is it possible that this little seed can grow into a big plant, vegetable or fruit? I know it needs sunlight and water, but how does sunlight, water and soil make a seed grow into something that people can eat? Asked the boy. Did you know that the sun was a star, continued the boy. My mother told me that the sun was a star. If that is true, are stars suns? If so, I wonder how many stars and suns there are, asked the boy. Wow, these are some really great questions, said El Superlector, enjoying the boy's curiosity. What about water? Why are there different types of water, like salt water, fresh water, and brackish water? And what's the difference between a lake and a pond or a stream and a river? Asked the boy. He has lots of questions. As the boy was in the middle of asking El Superlector his questions, a ladybug landed on his wrist. The boy and El Superlector remained motionless and quiet, admiring its beauty. It was bright red with black spots. After a few moments, the ladybug flew away. El Superlector and the little boy smiled at each other. Did you know that ladybugs are called ladybirds in England and that they are actually considered a beetle and not a bug, said El Superlector. No, I did not know that, said the boy. There is so much to learn. The world is an amazing place. Yes, it is. You are right on track, said El Superlector. You are curious and you like to read. As you get older, don't ever stop asking questions. Be sure to continue seeking answers. You are right. The world is an amazing place. There are so many different things to learn about this in this world. The best place to start is with a book. Reading will teach you things you never knew and take you to places that you have never been, concluded El Superlector. Pleased with El Superlector's advice, the boy happily continued to plant seeds. He was even more curious than before to learn about new things. Happy to share his love of reading with the boy, El Superlector continued strolling through the garden. He was amazed at how vibrant the garden was. In fact, he was so amazed that he was overcome with joy. In that moment, he couldn't help but think about how beautiful life was. The little boy had a great question, thought El Superlector. How does sunlight, water, and soil make a seed grow into something that people can eat? Pondering the boy's question, El Superlector whisked away, seeking others to help. For wherever there is illiteracy, you'll find El Superlector teaching kids how to read. You know, boys and girls, I really love this book. And the reason I love this book is because here you have a young man, a young boy, a young child who loves to read and is curious. He is so curious. He has all these questions. And so just like the story, what I would encourage you to do, boys and girls, is number one, obviously read, read, read. But if you're interested in something, if you're curious about something, research it, ask questions, find out. Because the more you know, the more you learn, the more you'll be able to do things. And as this book says, boys and girls, the world is an amazing place. And I don't want you to miss out on all of the beautiful things that take place in this world. So with that said, we're gonna close with 
a song. When I read that story, it made me think of a farm. Now, I know we didn't talk about a farm, but it made me think of a farm. And I don't know if you've ever been to a farm or if you know that there's all kinds of animals on the farm, but let's see. I know there's, there's cows on the farm. And do you know what sound a cow makes? Moo. Um, there are pigs on the farm. And you know what sound a pig makes? Oink, oink. Uh, I think there are sheep on the farm and they go bah. And there's chickens and they go cluck, cluck, cluck. And there's horses on a farm and they go nay. Um, well, let's start with that. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can do, boys and girls. Oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo, oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, okay, let's see another animal. Oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a E I E I O with an oink point here and an oink point there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink point. Oh, McDonald had a farm. E I E I O and on his farm he had a duck. Quack, quack. E I E I O with a quack, quack here and a quack, quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack, quack. Oh, McDonald had a farm. E I E I O and on his farm he had a sheep. Bah. E I E I O with a bah, bah here and a bah, bah there. Here a bah, there a bah, everywhere a bah, bah. Oh, McDonald. Had a farm, E I E I O. Yay! That was so great, boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls, remember don't ever stop asking questions. If you're curious, read, read, read. Keep trying to seek those answers. Goodbye! Thanks for watching The Adventures of El Super Lector. Call the number on your screen to receive at no charge an El Super Lector book and Super Reader t-shirt for your child. Or visit us at basinpbs.org or call the number on your screen to become a member of our Basin PBS Kids Club for just $5 and also receive an El Super Lector book and Super Reader t-shirt. Pick up points in Midland and Odessa. Out of the area, we'll mail them to you. Keep the excitement of reading going. Made possible by XTO Energy.